know we're still meant to be on a break, but once I'm independent, there'll be nothing stopping us going public. There's your father, for starters. Safety research. Daniel, wait. I... Brilliant. That's us busted. Excuse me. What's going on? Dad, I. Uh, some. some back pay. Uh, I, I forgot to shift Sophie had done. Yeah, and I need all the money I can get right now. And what's with Daniel? He thinks I should have stayed on at school. Oh, well, my estimation of that boy just went up a notch. Callum, one more quick word. Of course, Dad. Now, Sophie, about your back pay. You need to get hold of Daniel. What for? To shut him up before he tells the whole world about us. I love Dean Martin. Of course you do. You're a romantic. Do you really like that old-fashioned music? Huh? A good song's a good song, right? Oh, any copy going spare? Sure. All yours. Cheers. Quite chipped. Since this afternoon, yeah. Better get back to it. See that? You two chat like old friends. I walk in the room, he's ready to jump out the window to get away. He was due back at work. <sighs> Whatever, I give up. I thought you really liked him. I do. Ben's a sweet guy. Then don't give up. Put some effort in. Why should I have to? Because he is a lovely, genuine, good man who is all at sixes and sevens whenever you're around. I mean, shouldn't that tell you something? It tells me I could be wasting a whole lot of time. I don't want it to be this difficult. Do you like him or not, Tanya? Do you like him enough? I do. But does he like me enough? That's what I don't know. Hey, is Daniel around? No, he's not, and I don't think he wants to talk to you. Why? What did he say? About you? Nothing. Not since you broke it off. Well, would you rather tell him that I came round? What, so you can get his hopes up again? Is that what you really want? No, and he won't think that. It's just... Well, it's complicated. I can't well, really... Well, here's a simple idea. How about you leave him alone? Let him get over his heartbreak? Look, I'm really sorry that I hurt Daniel. I really am. It's just all a big mess now. So if you'll get over it, just give him some space, OK? Oh, hey, sir. Didn't you pass on that research? He did, thank you. No problem. Glad to help. What research? Oh, uh, Sophie's been writing an article for the uh, local rag, Road Safety. Oh, well, that'll make a change from the usual sensationalist garbage. Well done. If it gets published, I guess. Well, if you ever want to write an article on raising the driving age, you let me know. With one law change, we could save literally hundreds of teenagers. Don't get us started. You'll tell Daniel to call? Yes, I will. Uh, you might want to check out Brooke later. She'll be talking with the crash victim's family. It might add the human element to your story. I will. Thank you. Did she say why she wants me to call? Nope. I think I can guess. Whoa, 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 whoa. Focus, concentrate. You stance right. Uh, three hits, and then out. All right? Let's go. Good. Good. What's he doing here? He's training with me. Reckon you're both about ready to start sparring. Oh, yeah? I don't know how long those gloves gonna last. They're sweet. <laughs> oh, poor Danny. Did he want to be buried or cremated? Yeah, yeah, big talk. No talk? Your boy? Soft. Yeah? We'll get in the ring toss bag. Ah, uh, not till I say so. You both listen to my rules, right? Ben, wait on. Hey, what can I do you for? Call me an interfering mother, but what is the deal with you and Tanya? We're seeing each other. We're okay. Okay. Do you want to go out with her or not? Absolutely. Well, as a short-term thing, long-term, what? Oh, as long as she can put up with me, I guess. So you don't care too much either way? I care heaps. I don't know. You two are as bad as each other. Oh, she's getting fed up, eh? She really likes you, Ben. Yeah, well, like I said, till she pulls the pin. Great. 
you're waiting for her to dump you? I don't understand. Let's face it, she's out of my league. I'm a, I'm a hick from the sticks. I laugh at Jim Carrey movies. I prefer a pie and sauce to panini and balsamic. You're saying that you're not good enough for her? I'm just losing my confidence when she's around. Then it's time to toughen up. Tania wants more of you, and you've got to show that you've got what it takes. No guts, no glory. <laughs> yes, coach. What are you doing tonight? Uh, DVD, a few beers. Oh, for goodness sake. There is a benefit for the children's hospital tonight. Take these and invite Tanya. Black tie. Step up or sit on the bench. Your choice. Right, this is body sparring. Stay loose. Hands up. No hitting below the belt. Try for speed, not power. You don't want me to hurt him? Where's the pump? Well, bring it on, loser. I've been many tasks. Got to his number? Oh. All right, focus, guys. Guys. Let's go. Time. Focus. This is sparring, not a schoolyard brawl. I'm focused, okay? I'll keep your head cool. Anger doesn't work. Right. Have you decided what shots you're going to use? I like the one with the lady doctor. The one where she's treating the victim? The one over losing it on the side of the road. That one's kind of personal. It's the pick of the bunch. Are you ready to send me a draft of the story? I'm just writing it up from the notes. I only just received the government statistics on road accidents, so... Uh, bury the stats halfway through. No one reads that far, but if they do, we look good. And get a move on while the bodies are still warm, OK? Uh, is there a deadline? Yeah, five minutes ago, so get moving. OK, I'll do... Oh. Is that your editor? Yeah, he wants my story, like, yesterday, and I've got all of this research and all of these notes, but no idea how to put it into 700 words. Yeah, hold it down, Neil. I went round there, Sarah said she'd get him to give me a call. What else can I do? Just keep doing what you're doing. Making a new life for yourself. Is that what I'm doing? Because it feels like I'm lurching from one disaster to another. Still not too late to go back to school. No, I want to do this. Well, I guess it'll help if you're doing well for yourself. Before any dad finds out about us. Wouldn't it be better for us just to tell him? Beat Daniel to the punch. But if he hasn't told him, we've still got a chance to tell him when and where we want to. Preferably after you've turned 18. Oh, it might be too late. I just keep remembering that look on Daniel's face. He was so angry. Hey, try again. That's close. Break! 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 What's up, you two? Are you deaf? Then you look at me. I'm okay. I'm okay. How are we done here? Too right. Well, I'm fine, okay? Go me. Thumbs up, what? No, I want to fight him. I don't know what the hell you want. I'm warm down. Get in the showers. Freak. No, I'm a freak, you loser. I take anything you dish out. Yeah. Now. Don't even think about it. Fine. <laughs> that road accident yesterday. The guy that we lost. I just went to see his relatives. Not a happy task. Your job's pretty tough sometimes, huh? I just try and avoid situations like this. Now that I'm in the thick of it, I remember why. But seeing that guy die would have upset anyone. It just brings back all the other deaths, you know? The people that you loved and... Now they're gone forever. Anyway, how's your article going? I have to beef it up, bury the stats, meet the deadline, which is quote unquote five minutes ago. It's that, or I ruin any chance of working out the paper. <laughs> Welcome to the real world. <sighs> oh, God, I can't face going back in there. <sighs> Come on, Brooke, get over it. I know something that might help. Okay, you want to tell me what's going on in that head of yours? Let the anger take over. Why? 
Now, you've got some bad stuff happening with Sophie, but even so. Well, we've got to talk it out soon, mate. It's only a matter of time before you're back in serious trouble. If it isn't the Incredible Hulk. What is it? You can't fight for squat. But you don't take the hits, okay? I'll take you any day. I'm not dissing you. Bro, I'm saying you can take hits. It's a good thing. Still messed up about your girl, huh? She moved on? Yep. Do you know who it is? Her boss. He's like in his 30s. English guy. Runs the IV bar. Are you gonna whack him? I touch him, they'll put me in jail. True. Hey, cause I like you crazy man. How about I whack him for you? You want to be locked up. The cops can't connect me to him. You just make sure you got an alibi. I wonder how many other people have crashed here. Too many, according to the Black Spot Register. But what you're doing is a really good thing, you know. People will see this and it will make them think. Maybe even slow down. Too late for Bob. I'll just grab the flowers. This is really thoughtful of you, Sophie. I appreciate it. I was never convinced that teaching him how to fight was a good idea. Well, the point was to channel his aggression. By putting him in the ring with Tupac, those two are always at each other's throats. Tupac kept his head, Daniel didn't. <sighs> Tupac probably said something to provoke him. Do you still want to keep trying with this so-called sport? No. Which is a problem because now I honestly just don't know what to do next. Just so angry. Mm, because of Sophie, she really messed him up. Well, I wonder if it is that. Well, what else would it be? I don't know. Daniel. Look, I'm sorry how things turned out. It just happened. But if you tell Callum about us, it'll only hurt Sophie, and she doesn't deserve that. I'll tell her what I like. If you hurt Sophie in any way, there will be consequences. You think you can threaten me? Get stuffed! Hey, Daniel. Nice tux, mate. Oh, it's not mine, I hide it. Get out. Yeah, the shirt, the tie, everything but the socks and jocks. Uh, maybe you don't want to mention that to your day day. I feel like a total boy. Wow. Look at you. You look like a different man. Really like the suit. Really? Yeah. You look good too. Fantastic. Why, thank you. Would you like a drink? Um, yeah, I'll have a sip. I wasn't sure you were ever going to ask me out again. Are you glad I did? Very. Although, I never expected anything as flash as this charity do. I ah, wanted to take you somewhere special, yeah. I realise today I've been pretty slack in that department. Well, you're more than making up for it tonight. How did you manage to get tickets? Oh, you know, friends in high places. Really? Well, you're full of surprises. Well, international man of mystery, that's me. <laughs> so are. Here you go. Thank you. Here's to us. Hey, crazy man. What's up? I ran into the boyfriend today. Did you kick his teeth in? It was public. I kept it together. Can you believe he threatened me? For real? Yeah, I could have taken him down right then. The guy steals your girl and then threatens you. He so is to be taught. Yeah, except I can't do it. I told you. You want? I'll handle it. Yeah, I want. 
<laughs> I would so love to meet your old mate sometime. Oh, mad West Coast is still man. Oh, that sounds like fun to me. So, uh, next time you're heading home. Yeah. I should probably pay up, eh? Here we go. No, we won't. Gives me a chance to get rid of some of the shrapnel. <gasps> wow, look at you guys. Where are you off to? Ah, uh, fundraising dinner for the children's hospital. Snap. Yes. Already written the checkout. Saves time for when the charity queens come around. You look gorgeous, by the way. Oh, thank you. And Ben too, in a suit, no less. Yeah, I'm dying in here. Wow, well, let's some air in, eh? There you go. Uh, who made your suit? Ah. Well, if you ever want to buy one, I recommend Albert Central City. There you go. Cheers. We were just about to get going. No, not before champagne. Ah, oh, the good stuff, please, Hunter. And, uh, put everything on. Thanks, buddy. Uh, Blanc de Noir. Oh, you have one? 92 from memory. Sold. Blanc de Noir. As opposed to Blanc de Blanc, which is excellent, but common. Actually, the last time I had vintage Blanc de Noir was at a roulette table in Hong Kong. You ever been to Hong Kong, Ben? Haven't been anywhere. My cheek ready. That much cleavage and platinum hair looming over me was more than I can take. Maxwell, you are terrible. She was just doing her bit for charity. Of course she was. My fault for having a bulging wallet. Oh. Pleasant evening. Yeah, yeah, it was. And they raised heaps of money for the kids' hospital. I mean, you've got to feel good about that. Although you should have heard how much some people were giving. I do have friends with smaller mortgages. Champagne, thanks. So, um, that baby you brought in today it turned out to be quite a case. The have no distinction. Mm. Was pretty distressed. Yeah, it turned out to be volvulus. Which is uh, malrotation of the bowel. Right. Can you do it all? Yeah, when the bowel twists on itself, causing tissue to die. And creating an obstruction, so the poor mite would have been in awful pain. Right. Anyway, eh, we sorted them out. End of story. That's the main thing. They didn't specify which, so. Yes. Oh, no way. Now this brings back memories. More lucky nights on the roulette table? No, on how I met Kevin Bacon. The Kevin Bacon? The Kevin Bacon. No way. Hong Kong again. I'm standing on the side of the road. Two of these in my hand. Kevin Bacon pulls up and asks directions to his hotel. You gave Kevin Bacon directions? Which means I have a Kevin Bacon number of one. <laughs> oh, wow. Kevin Bacon number? You know, six degrees of separation and all that? Right. Actually, I might head off. Um, are, are you sure? Yeah, bit of a headache, you know. I'll come too. No, say, you guys are having fun and I need to crash. Night. See ya. Please don't slam the door on me. What do you want? To ask you not to tell anyone about me and Kieran. <laughs> because people would say he's a sleaze and you're a moron? Call me whatever you like, I deserve it. Yeah, your boyfriend tried sucking up to me too. Well, he came here. Yeah, at the hospital. Anyway, this isn't about him. This is about me hurting you, okay? I never meant to do that, and I know that I messed you around, and I'm so sorry. <sighs> I did the same to you once. Yeah. You broke my heart. <sighs> Karen is going to do worse. I'm telling you, he likes you because you're young. It's his thing, but it won't stop at you. Now he's got what he wants. I bet he's looking around already. Except he never wanted me. I chased him. He kept saying no. Oh, he's twisting it to make it look that way. He knows what he's doing, Sophie. He's freaked out about the age difference. He still is. He's worried what everyone will think. He's worried about me leaving school. He's worried about everything. Yeah, sure he is. I know you don't want to hear this, but... I love Kieran, and he loves me too, and he'd never do anything to hurt me. Well, he threatened me. What did he say? That if... Well, he said he didn't want you hurt. He was just trying to look out for me. See, that's what people don't see. He's gentle and kind and protective. Look, please don't make trouble for him, okay? Please. He's never done anything to you. I've got to be somewhere. But it's late. Yeah, I know.
with the collar pulled up. What are you looking at? What happened to Ben? <sighs> Bailed on me. Ah, by choice, or was he pushed? We were having a great evening. Thank you very much. Met up with Tracy and Maxwell and went to a, a charity bash. Celebs everywhere, great food and drink. Sounds fabulous. Except Ben kept tugging at his collar all night, looking like he'd rather be elsewhere. I mean, if he didn't want to be there, why ask me to go with him? He probably thought you'd enjoy it. I would have, except for him. He went all quiet and weird again. Well, make sure you ask him what went wrong. Oh, no. That's it. He's had his chances with me. But you really like him. Mum, we're incompatible. I knew that from the start. You kept going on about how nice he is, so I gave it a go. And you know what? I actually really did start to quite like Ben. He's a nice guy when he's not being weird. Oh, I've had it. Good night. She's supposed to be someplace getting an alibi. Is he dead? No, just KO'd. But seeing as you're here, here, have a go at him. <sighs> Thanks, but that's enough, okay? You better go. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Later, you See you later. Please don't die. Do it. 